Hey, what's going on YouTube? I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick video working on my PCV system on my 2011 535i. One thing we want to get into real quick is that there is a fix so that you can actually, without replacing your entire valve cover, just replace the PCV um, cap itself. Uh, it has to be cut out, which I cut mine out using a just a rotary tool. Uh, and in doing so, uh, I went ahead and tried to reinstall the new cap that comes with it, but I was really concerned about it not functioning properly. So I wanna kinda get into that and show you guys what I found and, and something that you make sure you wanna look at when you're installing your PCV system uh, to make sure that you don't have any issues because it looks like a lot of guys on the forums and even on the videos that I've seen here on YouTube, uh, everybody constantly says that it may or may not work for you when you replace just this cap. Uh, in my mindset, it didn't make sense why it may or may not work. So that's what I did here. So I kind of want to show you uh, what, what I kind of found. Okay, so this is the PVC, PCV cap that is being replaced. Uh, as you can see with the BMW N55 PCV system, uh, this actually, all of this, these components here are part of that PCV system. But the cap is, is the main culprit of, of the squealing noises, rough idle, everything that, that you see online. See here, we're gonna take this piece out real quick. So this little cap will, uh, will pop in and out if we can do so without Breaking it, there it is, Sorry, you gotta squeeze it and push it. So um, so we have a little nipple there that actually is, is supposed to release the excess pressure um, from the, uh, the crank system. Uh, as you can see, of course mine, yes, it is taped on right now with aluminum tape, but that is for a reason. Uh, this is actually the second time uh, I've actually replaced this. So a little history here. Uh, when I start having a really rough idle and thought, you know what, uh, let me do some of the tests that everybody's looking at for the PCV system. My car has about 129,000 miles on it, so I thought probably about time to have it replaced. The flame test, it came back and, and, and it was sucking in air, so I thought, okay, well definitely, looks like it's probably the culprit, let's go ahead and, and replace this uh, PCV uh, cap. Uh, and so I did that. Uh, some of the different uh, videos said that you could use gasket sealer once replacing it. So I tried that for more of a, a temporary fix just to see if this would work. When I replaced it the first time, it idled fine. I uh, took it for about a 10 to 15 minute drive. During that 15 minute drive, when that pressure was building up and driving the car, I started having lots of issues. I would pull up to a stoplight, the car would just shut off on me. It was having issues uh, maintaining idle. It was just giving me all sorts of problems. And that's what some of the videos had stated before is that, hey, this, this may possibly replace it. If not, you have to replace the entire valve uh, cover. So what I did is since I had just sealed it with the black gasket sealer, I pulled the gasket, uh, this cap off. And so now I'm gonna see if I can, there we go, pulled it off. And as you can see, I still have a gasket and I'm just gonna redo this here. I'm doing this for you guys' benefit. But what I, I noticed when I did this the first time, um, I kind of skimmed over uh, some of the videos and I guess didn't pay 100% attention to when, when they're telling you on these videos, you have to make sure that you're not putting gasket or even JB Weld or whatever you're, you're wanting to permanently use to seal this back on. You don't want to put that around this top section of the valve cover. Uh, what happens is it gets into there and if you can see, there's actually, uh, it, it's hard to see from here, but there is actually a cavity or um, yeah, there, there's, Basically, the way that this is set up, air will travel over the top of your um, diaphragm here, and that's actually pushing down on this spring, which allows the, uh, the pressure to be released from this nipple. So what I think a lot of people are doing is when they're actually replacing this uh, PCV valve, if you're putting gasket, a lot of gasket sealer, or if you're putting JB Weld, or whatever you're, you're using to seal this up, if you're getting it on the top of this, um, th this, um, this, this lip, when you're, when you're closing this up, it is actually sealing your airways so that there is, there's nothing that, so the air, the, the air's not getting in there to press down on this diaphragm and on the spring to release the crank, uh, crank pressure. And so that's where, why you're still getting a lot of squealing from the end. The squealing is actually coming from uh, the pressure being released at other seals. So whether that's your valve cover or gasket, whether that's your rear main seal, uh, there's just, it's, it's trying to escape some way because you're blocking the path for the air to travel around that PCV cap. So like I said, I just wanna make sure, uh, I didn't really, I guess I didn't catch that the first time I did it. So again, if, if I would have been 
If I, if I would have just sealed it up with JB Weld and went on about my business, I would have started up that second or that first or second day, day, had the same issue, went online, bought a whole new valve cover and tried to swap it out because I thought, uh, you know what, it just isn't gonna work for me replacing this cap. But the way that this is built, you shouldn't have that issue. Uh, if this is not being uh, obstructed and you're actually able to uh, vent that extra pressure, you should not have that issue. So from in my stance or from what I could see, sealing up this this top lip or this this uh, this ridge around here and not allowing that air to flow over the top of your PCV cap is what did it for me. So I want to make sure that I pass that along for you guys. I'm now going to take some time here to, to seal this back up and uh, maybe even do it more uh, a little bit more permanently. But uh, this is actually working great just using a gasket sealer and uh, the aluminum tape because if I figure I, I need to do it in the future, I can. All right, guys. I uh, also just want to make sure I pointed out that with this fix, I actually, after I had the, the, the main issues where it was squealing the first time and I came back in, removed all the, the gasket, tried to make sure it wasn't uh, impeding upon the, uh, the, the pressure releasing uh, over that diaphragm, I reinstalled it as you guys have seen here. Uh, the way this setup has been, uh, has been running right now, I've, I've ran it for about a month and a half, uh, almost two months and have had zero issues with the car stalling at, um, at stoplights or uh, having issues with idle. The uh, idle is, is a lot smoother than what it was originally. I still have somewhat of a rough idle, but I think that that actually has more to do with uh, needing to clean the intake, uh, intake valves. Again, this car does have 129,000 miles. I've only had it for about six months, but uh, it is definitely fun to drive, but I still need to do a little bit, a uh, few more maintenance things to it. So again, just Okay, so I'm in no way saying that this is the way that you have to install your PCV cap, but I'm reinstalling this and I figured I might as well put it on, on film just for you guys as well too. Uh, what I've done at this point is I went ahead and placed the gasket uh, around the edges of the cap and that's actually just using so just some, some black RTV gasket sealer there, instant sealer. So I just kind of Put that on, made sure I generously put it around the outside of the lip, making sure not to put it on top, okay? And then we're just gonna reinstall the, the cap itself. Okay, so of course, just make sure you're lining up those edges there because if you can see, there is a, a section that's cut out for this, this uh, lip area here and it will only go on a certain way. So we're just gonna line that up and make sure that I just, it in there and press it down real good uh, and then again I'm just taking my finger here and just smoothing in these edges the gasket because it, it did kind of push it down a little bit so just kind of seal that up real good while I'm maintaining pressure here uh, it will probably lift a little bit here when I take my hands off uh, but the next thing I do is uh, again using this aluminum tape I've kind of just measured it out cut it around the side making sure that's down there firmly down and I'm kind of remove some of this gasket around the side because it will cause my aluminum tape not to stick properly if I have uh, too much there and, and it's just protruding out. So got that kind of all cleaned up there. Okay, I'll just make sure it's down very well. And then my next steps are, I'm gonna go ahead and start sealing it up with the tape. And again, this is just the way that I've chosen to do this. Uh, made it made sense to me, uh, allowing me to seal this up and take this off whenever I, I'd like to for any reason, whether that is to re re replace it again down the, down the line if, when the vehicle has even more miles or whatever I choose to do. So, but again, not something that you have to do if, if you don't like the idea of, of having it uh, not JB welded or completely sealed to this, uh, the valve cover. So there we go. That's on there good. Took my little exacto knife here. Of course, being careful of the line. Behind it, I'm just gonna cut me a little loose. And as I bring that on over, actually, I'm gonna put the cut. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do it right there. That's sealed. Cut right over very nicely. Bring that loose does not have to be pretty, 
it's all about function on this piece here. Make sure that we're not sealing off the cap by any means or that, that nipple we discussed. And that is now on there. It's, it's good and tight. Again, if, you'll, if you've seen any of the other videos, videos uh, about replacing this, they tell you that you'll want to uh, wait and let this set, whether you're using the gasket or you're using JB Welds, you'll want to let this set for roughly um, 24 hours before driving. Uh, the other thing that I probably will do here is just again to make sure that, because it does lift a little bit even with that tape on there before that gasket has had that time to harden, I'll probably grab just another couple pieces of tape and just make sure that it's it's just kind of clamped down and, and really tight. But again, uh, the way it was set up before, before I, I removed this a few minutes ago, I drove it for almost two months, not a single issue. Uh, and just like I said, it just makes it really easy for you to remove and inspect if there's any, if you start to have any issues with your gasket uh, squealing or the uh, the valve cover squealing at all. So uh, again, have you have, if you have any comments, do put those down below in the video. Uh, thanks again for checking out my videos. Um, and um, we will see you guys next time.